Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and deep fried slug burgers are served up for lunch every day at Corinth's downtown hotspot, Borum's Drugstore. The slug burger, I thought, what was I about to eat? A slug? And it turned out to be one of the best things in the world. The famous food was created during the Depression when ingredients were added to stretch out the meat. What is it? It's uh, flour. Yeah, soybean meal. Soybean meal, some type of pork or beef. Yeah. The slug in Slug Burger is just like a slug nickel, meaning imitation. What's genuine is the passion for the burgers and for Borums as an institution in Corinth. I think we've been extremely fortunate. We'll be 150 years old next year. Camille Borum Mitchell is the great granddaughter of Dr. Andrew Jackson Borum. That's him on the left. He established the store in 1865 just as the Civil War was ending. It is now the oldest drugstore in the state, and Camille... I think I'm real lucky. <laughs> I'm 88. ...carries on the family tradition, filling prescriptions for her neighbors. I simply like my work, <laughs> and I think it, uh, of course, my opinion on things is uh, if you uh, don't use your brain, you lose it. <laughs> Not lost on the people of Corinth is just how special this place and this family is to the town. Oh, yeah, they're good folks. We're very proud that uh, part of history has been saved. Back when urban renewal went through and kind of destroyed the downtown, well, we were the only one that stayed. We took the uh, modern front out and put a replica of the old front back in. And we kind of went back into the time frame of the 50s and 60s. I got tickled at my son. He says, you know what they're going to think? I says, yeah, they might be right. He had reference to us, we might be crazy. <laughs> but it, it worked. It worked in a big way. Today, downtown Corinth is booming, and so is Borums. We'd be here on uh, the, about three times a week and eat dinner and, uh, and discuss politics. And, Sports. Uh, Sports. It seems like in a small town and you go in and out somewhere, you you get to know people. Yeah. And that comes personal. And this is a very personal place. Big chain pharmacies have offered to buy out Borums many times over the years, but they consistently get the same answer. I always laugh when they tell them it's not for sale today, but you never know when people might change their mind. But we'll never change our mind. We'll probably close it rather than sell it to a chain. With three more generations in line to run the store, Borums and their slug burgers will likely stay a fixture in Corinth for years to come. From Corinth, I'm Ken South for Southbound.